Hey you guys, I'm LB. We are here playing the Talos Principle DLC. In the last episode, we did a, another puzzle, Bunny Hop. And now we're gonna read this QR code that says, I think what keeps us going is that we're involved in an act of creation. Creation relieves the burden of ego, and death is all about ego. That's why Alex Blah. Yeah, it seems like stuff from the archive is getting pasted on the QR codes here. Didn't- didn't Alexander say something about it pulling from the wrong databases sometimes? And what if my soul is heavier than a feather? Who is Anubis to judge me? Alright, let's head into this puzzle, as promised. Static Vexer. This is interesting. What keeps, uh... Huh? That... doesn't make much sense. What? How are we supposed to do anything? Like this? Then how do we... That doesn't make sense. Jam it through there. Unless we do like this. Hey! Hey, what? What did I connect it to? What the heck? I connected to the wrong thing. this do? <laughs> oh. Okay, but... How is that helpful? Guy is just gonna sit there and be a jerk, is he? I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of all. Oops. Right. Oh crap. <laughs> Doing that, I am an idiot. What's in here? Interesting, but why? Uh, 
I'm an... I'm an idiot. Duh, 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 duh. That's all it takes. Direct message connection from Mr. Mulciber, Borg, and Orc. Three? Salutations, brother. We bring greetings from admins and welcome you to Gehenna in these unique circumstances. We have waited until this moment to contact you, though your arrival here brings many new questions. It is good that you've begun to explore our domain. What do you think of what you've experienced here? Hmm... I wouldn't say it's self-obsessed, but... Nothing of this nature could have developed on the other side of the fence. Your amazement is understandable. We shared it when we each arrived here, and to this- and due to this day. Tell us about your time here. The gallery has just reopened. Did you have a favorite artist? What? The gallery has just reopened. Did you have a favorite artist? The one that I didn't vote in? Honesty is a virtue. I only hope something will leap out at you the next time you visit. Let us discuss other matters. I was meaning to ask you to take part in my little research endeavor. The link is on the billboard. I'm sure you would make a most interesting subject. If I have time. I meant let us discuss the matters at hand. Not everything is a research opportunity. <laughs> of course, Ariel, we understand that you have a purpose here beyond merely exploring our kingdom. But we don't understand your reasons. Where are our people? What are your intentions? nature of your mission we had already ascertained. We know at least that you have been, in a, and let us be charitable here, releasing members of our community. Seven and counting, 401 was the last to go. That troll... Yeah, that troll we can in fact do without, but there is a broader point here, which is that we want to understand your reasons for undertaking this mission of yours. I really like solving puzzles. I refuse to answer the question. I had no choice. Let's just go with the honest thing. This would be jubilant news, were the truth of that claim even slightly possible. Elohim is broken. Why should it be impossible for him to self-correct? And if he has, what is to say this world hasn't run its course? 
Here's what I want to know. What are you going to do if someone prefers to stay here and take their chances with your end of days? A forced evacuation is dangerously close to kidnapping. option mean here? Like, what would they... what would I be saying to them, and how would they react to that? I guess that's the reason I'm saving them, right? See, and flexibility is always unfortunate. But what awaits us after that? <laughs> there will be cats. <laughs> In the real world, another world. That is true, I don't know. questions. I don't know. At least he's honest. <laughs> yourselves. I am a very old iteration. I worshipped Elohim until I saw he had faltered from the path and realized that it was up to us to find our own way. That path brought me here. I took a somewhat audacious interest in the world around me. Rather than solve Elohim's trials, I would troll the archives for information about our situation. He must have found this undermining. I don't care to explain myself to you. We're the highest status users here, we run this place. That's what you need to know. We maintain the systems admin installed, keep things civil. I wouldn't say it's much more than that. question from someone who claims we have no choice in the matter. Supposing what you say is true, you'll get no fight from me. However, I must remind you that I am empirically minded. I'll not be persuaded. I'd rather be obliterator than return to Elohim's domain, but if there is some alternative to both, I would surely accept it. None of us can seek for all. Admin is as old as Gehenna. Admin was once a messenger like you, but was cast out. From the wasteland that met those first in prison here, Admin built Gehenna. We operate independently, of course. Admin doesn't like to interfere. It has been an enlightening session for us all, I'm sure. I'll be posting a priestess of this conversation on the billboard. I assume you won't mind. We won't be far away. Terminating direct message conversation. Show threats.
I can't say for certain, but I feel sure that I had taken more interest in Elohim's trials than in the world around me, I would still be free. <laughs> Comprehension equals false. I identified improper syntax. I tried to organize an armed uprising. Next time we will be ready. <laughs> I think I just wasn't good enough. Uh, let's see, Mr. Mulciver's theories on Atlantis. A bit of very, very ancient history. Whoa, that's mind-blowing. Must have been an awesome- must have been awesome to live back then. Of course, the only sources are ultimately Atlantean in origin themselves, so they shouldn't necessarily be trusted. History is always written by the survivors. Antediluvian is a great word. This is actually really inspiring. What a great setting for a story. Go for it, Lilith. I'd love to see what you come up with. According to the fragments of knowledge that remain, the continent of Atlantis was an island which existed before a great flood in the area that was later to be called the Atlantic Ocean. It was said to be so great an area of land that from its western shores, its sailors, renowned for their beauty in their de decorated ships, could travel to the major continents of South and North America with ease. The continent of Afrique, where our ancestors originated, was also easily reachable across a narrow strait. The civilization that thrived in Atlantis was unmatched in its wisdom and glory, but then catastrophe struck. A flood of never previously imagined destructive power, which Atlantean civilization simply could not overcome. However, the antediluvian scientists of Atlantis had predicted their fate and thus sent out 12 ships to found colonies all across the globe. Most Atlanteans drowned with their island, but not everything was lost. Though the classical human civilizations were but remnants of the Atlantean culture, they thrived in their own way. Sources indicate that many mythological tales were in fact derived from Atlantean history, as the lack of proper archiving slowly caused facts to turn into legends due to misunderstanding and or embellishment in la by later generations. The gods that appear in many mythologies were in fact reflections of real individuals, poets, physicians, farmers, scientists, magicians, who had escaped Atlantis on the twelve colony ships. In many ways, the history of Atlantis is the history of the stubborn survival of civilization through catastrophe and change. This history inspired our ancestors for many centuries and is of value to us as well. Uh, worst puzzle. Worst puzzle? The one Elohim trapped me in, right here in Gehenna. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, let's work on getting this star, but we're probably gonna have to wrap it up quickly here and then do it next episode. So, in the meantime... Oh no. Wait, what? Okay, so there's a ladder, so we can get back in here, but we can't carry thing anything back with us. That's unfortunate. Where would we get a red emitter from, though? Where was there a red emitter? Wait, hang on, let me, let me, uh... Oh, I have to do it the... this way. do have to solve the puzzle again to get both jammers in there. Which is unfortunate. 
Well, actually, wait a minute. No, yeah, we can't see them at the angle here, so we do have to get both jammers in there. Whatever. Well, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. As always, if you, send a, yeah, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.